What's good is JB. I'm about to give y'all five tips on how to move fast on Pro Tools. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you support us. Let's get it. So for the first tip, we got two common edit modes. You got grid and you got slip. I keep mine on grid so I can move everything on the bar. In order for me to move the slip without clicking slip up here, hold control, boom. So whatever you're doing, wherever you click, it's only gonna move this way. But when I hold control or command on Mac, it's gonna move freely as if it was on slip. So for the second tip, this is for recording. When I right click this recording button up here, you got normal, loop, destructive, and quick punch. Of course, you know how to use quick punch, which is control, space, and that will work even while it's playing. If you have it on normal, it won't work. You cannot stop the recording. So check me out. When your artist keeps wanting you to run it back, he's doing it a hundred times, you literally can highlight the area he's rapping in. As long as you got this on loop record, then you hit control space, And it keeps recording, it's like a loop. So you can make that loop as long as you need to be. You can loop that recording and walk away, go get some food while he's trying to get his takes in. You know how it is when they need 100 takes. So for the next tip, you're gonna wanna have a general template. When I say general, I mean that you're not adding too many things that add character. You're not using three different compressors, four different compressors. You're doing a recording job. So you wanna make sure that when you're in the studio and you have that template, it needs to sound good very fast. So it needs to be general. If somebody's singing, somebody's rapping, you don't need to be wasting time in your session trying to get your template to sound right. You're gonna wanna start that session with a lot of your compressors muted. Have your main compressors, the ones that are doing a great job, and leave everything else muted. After you get done recording, then you can unmute these things and add it to the liking of the artist. A lot of times we use templates and we try to do the same process for everybody. When you're dealing with a lot of artists, they can have different projections. Some are louder, some are soft-spoken, some are off-key. There's a lot of different things. So your template has to cater to all of those things. It can't already be set up to where, oh, it only sounded good if he was loud or only sounded good if he was low. It needs to be able to be adjusted quickly to whoever you're recording. This is the next tip. Use a mixing template. I know a lot of people are against mixing templates. Like I said, you don't want to do the same thing for every artist, but this is how you do it. Instead of muting a few plugins like you do for the recorded template, mute all the plugins in the chain. Literally, you mute all the plugins in the chain, you mute all your effects and your buses, anything like that, mute everything. When you bring those new vocals in, you're gonna unmute them one by one, literally one by one, just to get into the liking of that vocal. Like I said, every artist is different. So if you're gonna have a mixing template, it's only gonna be in the steps. It's not gonna be about the sound, it's gonna be about, okay, these are the plugins I use. I'm gonna adjust them according to every vocal. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this is the last tip. When you're having your audio clips and you're trying to take them from the record track onto the mix track, or you're trying to take them from the record track to the lead vocal bus track, instead of you clicking it, bringing it down, you can literally just separate the area, control E or command E on Mac. You have P, which is up. It's gonna take your spot up under P gonna bring it down so you have an up and down so what you want to do is that vocal that you spotted or that area you spot the click command or control C copy that and once we do he under P the colon control V I can paste it as much as I want to you know what I'm saying so this is the last way you copy the clips you have to make sure that your whole session is on BPM First thing to do to make sure that says no BPM is at the beginning of your beat, after you set the BPM, sometimes it's gonna be an open space, just a little bit to where you can't see unless you zoom in. So I'm gonna go to the front, I'm gonna hit control, and I'm gonna hit the bracket that's open. So it's, it's like this, you know what I'm saying? Which is the right bracket. So it's, it's and those keys are on the right of P. So I'm gonna hit the right one. That's zooming me in. And I'm zooming in, in that spot. So I'm gonna hold control, and I'm gonna take that space away, and I'm gonna go a little further to get myself leeway. Now I'm gonna go to the first bar with a drum drop. And I'm gonna zoom in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the beat, and I'm gonna move it to where that drum drops right on that grid, you know I me? Mean? Also, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's a clean transient. As you see, this is a wave. Everything moves in waves, it's going up and down. You're gonna wanna get it in an area where 
it's definitely down. You don't want to get it in an area where it's like, uh, I would say it's an area where it's, where it's trying to come back up, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, it's when it goes down and you get it right where it's nothing going on. You know what I'm saying? Just so you don't have that sound every time you try to copy the beat. It's like a sound. So I'm gonna see. I think this might be good enough right here. Yeah. So boom. Once we have the beat there, we can do this. You might want to take a piece of the beat and or you have this clip here. Let's say this is the vocal. You're gonna take this, copy, but it has to be on grid, literally. If it's not, this will not work because it won't the BPM won't correspond. When you copy it, it'll be off beat. But when you have it exactly on beat, this will work for the vocals and the beat. So you're gonna take it, you can just literally click it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna do Control C or Command C for copy. Then we're gonna just find the spot. The spot where we wanna copy that and just Command V or Control V. It has to be on the grid. That's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Who's Jay Beats. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok at Who's Jay Beats. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one tutorials, more exclusive behind the scenes tutorials of me mixing, mixing vocals or mixing beats or fixing somebody's beat or exclusive templates for Pro Tools, check out my Patreon. I'm out.